Hello again, thanks for joining me. What I'm doing today is I'm going to compile three songs that I've mastered and create a CD. So this is one here that I mastered, I just finished mastering now. So we'll go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is come to my projects, come down, I'm going to start a new project. Okay, we'll just name this one. Okay, what I want to do on this, since I've already mastered the others, the three songs I'm working on, I'm going to go ahead and come to CDR, so I'll be cutting a CD. Let's go ahead and open that and start that new project, yes. What I'll be doing is just importing the tracks that I've mastered on the other songs and compile them onto this new project here. And I will be able to burn a CD from it. project here in CD mode and as you see it's got everything it's basically stereo tracks over here with the asterisk that asterisk is, is the uh, red book standard so what we're gonna go ahead and do is come up to our track import what's nice about this is it's only going to list the ones that have the red book standard uh, recordings on there so the ones that you did if you're curious about the red book standards check out more of the video in the mastering room and it'll show you how to create uh, that type of recording anyway let's get back to this we got uh, these are the three songs that I'm gonna be bringing in that I've already mastered so I'm gonna click on this one start at the top now let's see if you come down here we're looking for the one with the asterisk on there, and there it is right there. Right there, 23. So we're going to click on that. That's telling us over here it's going to bring it to track one. That's basically what we want to do there, so we've got that. Okay, and it's gonna bring it in as a stereo track. So you do have your 23, 24 as the arrow there showing you. So yeah, we're sure that's what we want to do. Let's bring that in. Okay, we got that. We've got our two tracks, brought them in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the dial here and scroll. That idea looks good, okay. Now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna come down here in the corner here and I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in on this here. I'm just gonna tighten it up, make it just smaller. Easier to work with, basically the whole song there. So we got the first song in there. Now let's go ahead and import our second song. And I just want to double check and make sure I have the right one. So we want one of these, I mastered it twice. But let's see, I think that's the one I want. want to do here is I'm just going to change this one up to 
I'm gonna bring it down to tracks three and four. Because if not, it's just gonna overlay it on that one there. So let's go three, right there, okay. Go ahead, we got the master track, bring it into three, and it will be four also. So it's got the four here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now we got our second project. You see, I brought it in on the other tracks here. Now, what we could do is turn that to phrase there. We're just going to go ahead and get these two here like that move them back up over here about right there so fine tune it later that's why i like to shrink this up so that you can go right to the end of the song there and make it a little easier got two song or two songs there now what i want to do right up here between these is do the right click and we're going to put a cd track marker tells us that we got it going into a new song here okay now we got one more to add let's go back to track import do it last song here just want to double check again because I know one of these I think I mastered on a different track coming in on three and four again. Double check, three, four, yeah, that's what we want. there. Come in here and put our C track marker. You can also zoom in over here. Let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> we'll zoom in this way and then that way I give you just a little closer look here. Make sure you got that marker in the right spot. Everything looks good. Okay, so now that we've got that all set up, now we can come up to the CD mastering and we want to do a CDR right right there. Sure, go ahead and store it. It's going to set us up for that. Store this project that we just put together. disc you use, so find one that it agrees with. Okay, we got the disc in there. Now, what we want to do, we're going to change this up. <clears throat> it automatically went to our 12th 
23 and 24, which are usually your master tracks here. So right there, we're gonna go one and two, since that's where we have our tracks one and two. Copy the disc. All right, let's go ahead and put the follow eyes on, because I'm just doing these songs on this disc. Disc of once, track of once, I don't really think it matters. I'll just keep it on track there. Okay, let's give that a whirl. Yep, now it should give us the copyright. Let us know it's against the law. Steal other people's no stuff. Got that. We need all that if you want. Let's get it's going through it. And there we go. Now it's starting to write. It's pretty much the basics of producing a CD with this machine. Okay, there the CD's done. Ask us if we want to ride another. In this case, no, I got one. That's all I need. Kick the disc out. And there we go. We've got our CD. I'm ready to go listen to. Well, thanks for joining me. Hope this helped you. And we will see you again on the next video.